E-Mini Junkies, welcome to eminijunkie.com, your yes trading mentor's free trading video for Tuesday, November 8th, 2011. Today we had a total of 8 executable trade signals for a max potential of 6 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed at our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning at 1263.75. We did have a high probability gap trade in effect today, and we immediately got a signal short that did produce targets one and targets two to the downside as we went within a couple of ticks our our half gap fill. Got a little bit of a bounce there, sent us into a quick move to the upside. Had a small little extension long targets one and targets two for five ticks as the as the market uh, continued to push higher into the 10 o'clock reversal time frame, we tested our, uh, just past our Globex highs there, came back down through our moving average, had a, another signal to get short. That produced targets one and targets two to the downside for five ticks. The market then did fill its half gap, bounced off there, did a little rotation between the half gap and the gold moving average, kind of just chopped a little sideways there and actually gave us a signal to get short we were able to get that first uh, contract off, but the pullback came back far enough, uh, ended up stopping out of our position before ultimately would have went on to hit its target two. So that ends up to be a, a T1 minus two on that particular uh, short. The market then went down, filled the high probability gap, and actually uh, gave, our, gave us a nice low tick reading. Got a bounce off that level. Went up until our 1045 confirmation time and we had uh, the market then did turn down. In the process though, this, this move to the upside actually gave us a signal long. That was a full stop out when they reversed at that 1045 confirmation. Ended up sending us down, stopping us out right into a signal short that did hit targets one and targets two for seven ticks to the downside. Again, just kind of chopped sideways there for a little bit before ultimately breaking down, putting in our lows of the day just before uh, the lunchtime dead zone. You can see we bounced off that level, but we didn't get a signal opportunity until uh, we were after uh, our morning quitting time. Now we don't take any trades between 11:30 and 1:15. That's the red area you see on the chart here. We wait until after 1:15. We start looking for opportunities again. There was a signal setting up to the downside as soon as we came out of lunch. That did provide uh, target one, but no follow through. Ended up stopping out of the second position. So T1 minus two. And then the market uh, basically reversed off that 115 reversal time frame and started climbing higher the rest of the day. There was a little reset here of price action. Gave us another signal short. Uh, again, another target one hit, no follow through to the downside. And then the up move that uh, followed after that was too fast and we didn't get an opportunity to jump on uh, that, uh, that potential long side play. So it was... Uh, Quite an interesting day. There was a there was an early move, and then there was some chopping around, and then the move that started off right before the lunchtime dead zone, which we were not able to get in, and uh, then a couple more trades in the afternoon that just uh, didn't pan out. So gave up a few today uh, initially uh, this morning on that full stop out, but we still ended up with eight trades for six ES ticks. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all of our chart setups or to join our live trading room and video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.